Okay, so in this problem, very similar to the last one, we're going to linearize the equation around the equilibrium solutions um, and solve that linearized equation and then use that to determine the stability of each solution. Okay, so if we call this f of x, let me just do a little work up here. Okay, I'm not going to spend time doing this, but f prime of x is equal to 3x squared minus 6x squared plus two. Okay, and now, now, so that's, I wrote that there because we're going to need to use it. Um, so now step one is to find the equilibrium solutions. Maybe step zero is to find the derivative. Um, if we want to find the equilibrium solutions, that's going to be when f of x is equal to zero. And just by looking at f of x, we see we get three equilibrium solutions. One is going to be when x of t is zero. One is going to be when x of t is equal to one and one is going to be when x of t is equal to two. And, and so again, remember what I mean when I say equilibrium. I mean that the constant function zero is a solution to this differential equation. And we call it equilibrium because it is a constant solution. And same thing with one and two. x of, two, x of t identically equal to one, the function that is identically equal to one, is a solution to this differential equation. And it's again, we call it an equilibrium solution. One, because it's a solution. And two, because it's not changing any. It, it's, it's constant. Okay, um, so now we're going to linearize at each one of these equilibria solutions. I'm going to start with x of t is equal to zero. So let's linearize at x of t is equal to zero. And again, the idea we're saying is that if, if x of t is a solution to the differential equation, and if x of t is close to zero, then we know x prime of t, well, x prime of t is always going to be equal to f of x. But by the linearization property, this is going to be approximately equal to f prime of zero times x minus zero. And again, this is just the linearization property of the derivative. Okay, so if x of t is a solution, this equation is always true. That's what it means to be a solution. But if, but, but if in addition, x of t is close to zero, we know x prime of t is approximately equal to f prime of zero times x minus zero. Um, again, using x, uh, using f prime of zero, we see, or using our formula for f prime of x there, we see f prime of zero is two, so this is two x. And so if I solve the equation x prime is equal to two x, I get the general solution x of t is equal to c times e to the two t. Okay, so if x of t is a solution to the differential equation and it's close to zero, if x of t is close to zero, this means x of t is approximately equal to c times e to the 2t. And so this means that the equilibrium solution, x of t equals zero, is unstable, okay? Because solutions that start close to zero get farther and farther away from zero. And again, that's what it means. That's what stability means. A solution is unstable if when a solution starts near it, it goes away from it. An equilibrium solution is stable if solutions that start close to it continue to get closer and closer to it. Okay, so to sort of separate the work, let's look uh, at the next one. So we're gonna linearize, or sorry, not, uh, linearize Uh, at the equilibrium solution, x of t is identically equal to one. Okay, so again, just I'm gonna walk through this pretty much every time. If x is a solution to the differential equation, we know x prime of t is always equal to f of x. That's exactly what it means to be a solution to the differential equation. If in addition, x of t is close to one, we know this is approximately equal to f prime of one times x minus one. Okay, so let's come up here and figure out what f prime of one is. If I plug in one, I get three minus six. Uh, that is minus three, minus three plus two is minus one. And so this is minus x plus one. Okay, and so now I wanna solve the equation x prime equals minus x plus one. Again, this is, there's several ways to do this. Uh, the way I'm gonna do it is integrating factors. This is x prime plus x is equal to one, multiply both sides by the integrating factor, which is e to the t, we get x e to the t prime is equal to e to the t. And this tells us x of t is equal to, okay, so I'm gonna integrate both sides, I'm gonna get e to the t plus c, then I'm gonna divide by e to the t, so it's gonna be c e to the minus t plus one. Okay, so solutions 
to the differential equation that are near the equilibrium solution x of t is equal to 1 are approximately equal to c times e to the minus t plus 1. Okay, and notice what happens. Uh, as t goes to infinity, this approximation gets closer and closer to 1. Okay, and remember, when we say solutions, uh, so, so remember this linear approximation gets better the closer that the solution is to the equilibrium solution. Okay, so what this says, as t goes to infinity, the approximate solution gets closer to 1. This means the actual, actual solutions get closer to 1. And so we say that the equilibrium solution, x of t equals 1, is asymptotically stable. Okay, and finally we have the last equilibrium solution that's at 2. x of t is equal to 2. And so we're going to linearize at the equilibrium solution x of t is equal to 2. Okay, so again, if x is a solution to the differential equation, we know x prime of t is equal to f of x. And since f of x, since f of x, uh, so, so, so now f of x is approximately equal to f prime of 2 times x minus 2. So in other words, if x is a solution to the differential equation and it's close to 2, then x prime is approximately equal to f prime of 2 times x minus 2. Okay, so now I'm going to solve the differential equation. Well, so I need to figure out what f prime of 2 is first. f prime of 2, uh, if I come up here and plug in 2, uh, so this is going to be, let's do some scratch work over here. Uh, 3 times 4, that's that's that, um, minus 6 times 2, so that's 12, plus 2, so that's just equal to 2. So f prime of 2 is equal to 2, so this is 2 times x minus 2, and so I want to think about solving the differential equation x prime is equal to 2x minus 4. Okay, so I'm going to um, subtract this, or subtract 2x from both sides, you get uh, x prime minus 2x, is equal to minus 4. Now the integrating factor is going to be e to the minus 2t and this is going to equal minus 4 e to the minus 2t. Okay when I integrate both sides I get x of t e to the minus 2t. Okay the antiderivative of this part here with respect to t is going to be 2 e to the minus 2t plus c. And now when I solve for x, I get x of t is equal to c e to the 2t plus 2. Okay, and so now what this is saying is that solutions to the differential equation that start close to 2, or solutions to the differential equation that are close to 2 are approximately given by this formula here for some constant. But notice that as t gets bigger and bigger and bigger, c e to the t gets farther and gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and this is so that the solution gets farther and farther away from 2. Okay, so in other words, this says that the equilibrium solution x of t equals 2 is unstable. And again, the reason is because if a solution starts near x of t is equal to 2, it's approximately equal to that right there. But that goes away from 2 as t goes to infinity. Contrast that uh, with the example up here. Okay, if a solution, if x is a solution to the differential equation and it starts near 1, then it is approximately given by this equation here x of t is approximately equal to that, and as t goes to infinity, that gets even closer to 1. That gets closer and closer to 1. So we say x of t equals 1 is asymptotically stable. Uh, and then finally, um, if you look at the x of t equals 0, well, if x starts near 0, we know that x of t is roughly uh, equal to c e to the 2t, and that gets farther and farther away from 0 as t goes to infinity. So this says x of t equals 0 is unstable.